Well, obviously, uh, we have the second informal ministerial meeting of the presidency taking place in Dublin Castle today. Um, it's a meeting of the 27 EU member states uh, European Affairs Ministers plus uh, Europe Ministers from all of the candidate countries uh, and aspiring candidates of the EU. Um, the topic for discussion is primarily focused on the question of democratic legitimacy and accountability. Um, obviously there's been a lot of um, movement in the European Union in the last couple of years towards deeper cooperation, scrutiny of budgets, um, economic coordination and so on. And we want to make sure that coupled with that there is um, a connection between EU citizens and decisions that are taken on their behalf. Um, one interesting statistic in the last number of weeks is that um, only 35% of European citizens actually feel that their voice is heard at European level. So I think we, the European Affairs Ministers, have a task um, to try to address that and to ensure that there's more transparency, more openness and more engagement of EU citizens. Um, and I think that for the Irish presidency, certainly this is um, a big priority and also an opportunity to start this important debate. So uh, that will be the focus of our discussions today, as well as a discussion on enlargement of the European Union. And I think that's very timely because um, it's 10 years since the EU member states committed to um, the European perspective or European future for all of the Western Balkans countries um, just less than 20 years on from, um, from war and devastation in the Balkans region. It's important now that we help those countries to find a path to European Union membership and the Irish presidency will work towards that goal. So it's a big priority for us and uh, we'll have an opportunity today to bring all of the EU member states together along with the candidate countries to discuss um, the challenging road ahead.